Hello and welcome to another cigar review. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I've spoken in a couple of my videos about early morning smokes. Early morning cigars, the ones that you can enjoy with a um, coffee or a latte, so to speak. So today, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, review some Cuban Poritos. Uh, what would you do if I told you that you could get five five Cuban cigars for under ten pounds from the majority of the tobacconists and um, online stores in the UK that sell cigars. Yeah, sounds a very good deal. What I, what you can get is you can get Monte Cristo Peritos. Now these are machine made, don't get me wrong, they're not hand rolled but they are very good quality and they are Cuban um, tobacco inside them. They're not the biggest of cigars, I think they're four and a quarter inches and I think they're something around a 23 ring gauge. Obviously they come, look at that, look, tiny little cigar but an absolutely beautiful smoke. You can find these in packs of five if I look this morning. Seagars have them for £8.49 for five. Uh, cigarclub.com, I believe you can get two packs on there for around about £15 with postage free. Um, that is a very good deal. And then also your local tobacconist should have these in as well. I bought these ones from my local tobacconist. Um, I think these cost me £9. Just wanted a quick smoke point in there and they had these. You can also get many other um, brands in the Pareto size, but these are the ones that I have at the minute. I will be doing the other sizes at a later date. And like I say, they're perfect for some for a early morning coffee. I've woke up this morning, I've been out to the shops quickly. I just made myself a latte. I don't know if you can see the construction on them. I mean, they're lovely, they're, they're nothing special, but for the cost absolutely fantastic they really are I mean look at that like I say machine made drawing them is always good I've never had any with a bad draw Cuban smell absolutely beautiful obviously good tobacco does go in them um, they're going to be short filler they're going to be the bits that are left on the side from when the other leaves are chopped etc but yeah they're, they're you know very agricultural smell, earthy, extremely earthy. No cedar smell or wood smell in these at all. They haven't been stored in a humidor. They've been, well, they have been stored in a humidor, but I keep them in the pack on the bottom shelf. So, yeah, don't have to toast these either. Lovely little smoke. Definitely not a light smoke though. They're not light. I would have said they're more medium body. Definitely have um, an earthy taste to them. They go really well with a latte though, which is obviously what I'm drinking today. Smoking time for one of these is around about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And I'd say they're just perfect for sitting out in the garden, quick coffee, first thing in the morning. Very deep, earthy notes. Um, no spice yet. <laughs> But tobacco -y, earthy notes. Like I say, they're lovely, really. I mean, they're perfect for just coming out, having a coffee. You can put them in your pocket, obviously. They come in these. If you're going out to the pub or if you're going out for a night out, you can just slip a pack of these in your top pocket. You know, five will keep you going most of the night. If you want to take another pack, slip another pack in your missus' handbag. For the Cuban taste, I mean, yeah, you do get the Cuban taste off these. They're brilliant. They really are. Quick, easy, convenient. 
you haven't got to worry so much about them like you would have the other cigars like when you keep them in a humidor and you have to keep them at a certain um, humidity machine made you just leave them in your cupboard if you want obviously you keep them cool um, don't leave them in a hot harsh environment because even though they're in the packet and in this they'll still dry out so much little bit of spice there coming into it just florally um, slight floral slight spice a lot of earth a heck of a lot of earth in these but they're good I say if you type type Purito into Google, um, Cuban Purito, P-U-R-I-T-O, you'll find all the places that sell them, and there are so many different. I think in any or well, a lot of the Cuban brands make their own Puritos or something along the lines. I mean, I know Romeo Julieta, uh, they do Puritos. Um, Guantanamera, they do Puritos. And Monte Cristo obviously do Puritos. But then you also have other ones that grow up from them, like you have the uh, Cohiba Clubs, uh, Cohiba Minis. There's so many different ones to choose and if you go on these websites and have a look you can normally find packs for under a ten and like I say these are averaging around eight to ten pound a pack. Um, cigar, I'm pretty certain it was cigarclub.com with free posters you get two packs for around about fifteen pound which is a bargain really, it really is. Lovely medium smoke. Nothing too harsh first thing in the morning. And like I say, to go with a latte. Fantastic. It really is. Smoke output superb. Draws fantastic. Like I say, they're just handmade. Um, Machine made, sorry, in bulk, but it's a Cuban taste. <sighs> Lovely little cigars. All right, where am I at the minute? With as you probably noticed, if you do follow the uh, page, the channel, sorry, there is a few more videos starting up here. Um, I will be putting a lot more out. I have my whiskey videos and I have my cigar videos. Um, I'll be doing other videos now as well as the cigar reviews, I'll be doing things like cutting your cigar, buying your first cigar, I've got lots of different ideas in the pipeline so if you do watch the video and you know give it a like please and if you're not subscribed please subscribe. Um, you know I've, I've got I think it's on the point of making this video I have 24 subscribers. Um, we're going into the new year you know I'd like to have a few more subscribers um, just to know that people actually like what I do I mean I'm gonna keep doing whatever because I just enjoy making the videos always have done um, I've got a fishing YouTube channel as well which we stopped making the videos for that due to the person I was doing the channel with he fell ill um, so we stopped doing them and so I've moved on to these now, I still do a lot of fishing, uh, still write for magazines, uh, still, you know, take people around the world fishing as well as part of my day job. But I do enjoy doing these uh, videos for this channel, so, you know, show me some love if you want, give me a like, uh, hit the subscribe button, just to show me that, you know, you are enjoying what you're watching, but if not, it's no biggie. I'll say they'll still keep coming out. Oh, what have I got planned for today? It's a Saturday. Uh, it's just after Christmas. Just been out and got the uh, ingredients for making some gyros later. I don't know if you've got gyros, like a tortilla wrap with chips and chicken and stuff in it. My partner was in bed last night and she saw a video on how to make them. And it was like her world just suddenly, you know, a whole new world opened up to her. Um, I've known about them for ages, bless her. But yeah, she wanted me to make them. So well, she's going to make them later. She just wanted me to get the ingredients. So when I got the ingredients ready, the kids are in the house. Probably take the dog for a walk later. Yeah, apart from that, not a lot. Um, oh. So 
very consistent smoke. Very earthy all the way through. Medium bodied. There's not a lot of nicotine in there. And not a lot of nicotine at all. Perfect for an early morning smoke. And the band comes straight off. So that's no biggie either. I've got a band out here from the last one I done. I don't know about you, but do you like do you like collecting your bands? I mean I keep my bands whenever I smoke a cigar and I'm putting them in a bag at the minute. I'm probably gonna do something with them at some point, maybe make a board or something like that to put behind me when I do my videos on or something along them lines. Yummy. That's lovely. Follow up with a latte. Perfect combination. Really is. But I'll say I'll be doing some more reviews on the Puritos and I'll also be doing reviews on um, not so much the cigars that you keep in your humidor. Um, I'll be doing ones you get from the supermarkets and stuff as well because I know that you know everybody out there's different ones like Cafe Creme and things like that. So yeah, just keep an eye out for them. But all in all, Monte Cristo Perito, I mean, it's a machine made cigar. But let's be honest, you can't grumble at that. Five for about eight quid to nine or to ten quid. You can't grumble in a slight. <laughs> it's that Cuban taste. Cheap, cheerful, easy to maintain, nothing to worry about. But I'm going to leave that review there. Like I say, if you like the uh, videos and like the channel, please hit subscribe, give me a like, show me some love. Like I say, if not, then don't worry about it, but the videos will keep coming out. So you take care, and I will see you in the next review.